This is the Exos 2, mm -hmm. the kind of closest thing we have at this moment to uh, the Iron Man suit. Incredibly strong, and the uh, interesting thing is it doesn't feel any different if you put 150 pounds on the back or if it's unloaded. The Exos 2 is more fluid and stronger. Um, I don't feel the strength, but I know I can pick up more. Um, the, the big deal is that it takes a lot less power at the same time as it's stronger. We reduced the power consumption by 50% by comparison to Exos 1, and our target is 20% of what Exos 1 used. We wanted to basically reduce power consumption uh, to make it more practical for non-tethered use. If you push on the board, like, I'm never going to be able to break that, but then you wind up and do it, and away they go. What are some of the ways that a suit like this would be used in a theater of operations? Well, there are two, two main uh, focuses. One is uh, like the combat variant, which would actually be just from the legs down, and it would support a backpack to lighten the soldier's load. The other variant is logistics, clearly lifting weights in the battlefield, like water bottles and food rations and munitions and that sort of thing, is not a stretch from lifting a 200-pound barbell, which is tough to do. And a lot, a lot if you're interest. me, but a lot less if you're me in this suit. Well, exactly. So you're lifting armaments and various things that weigh a lot with this. Exactly. This. I don't yeah. even feel that. Yeah. Well, we'd expect them to appear in theater probably in about uh, five years for the tethered version, and perhaps uh, three to five years in addition to that for a non-tethered version. That it's becoming real this quickly is, is kind of remarkable. I can't wait to see Exos 3.